App Distribution Now that we have added these apps to the inventory, let's see how you can distribute them. App installation for enterprise and store apps work the same way. They can either be pushed via a direct install action or via a mandatory apps policy. The web apps, or web clips, are basically website shortcuts and not exactly apps, and they're to be pushed in a slightly different way. Let's see the web clips option first. We go to Policies, create a new policy, iOS Settings, Configure Web Clips. Select the web app we had just added to the inventory. Now select Policy Targets and choose the device you want the web clip to be deployed on. You can also select a user or group here and save. If you want to get rid of this web clip, just remove the device from the policy targets and save the policy again, or just delete the policy altogether. Now, let's check out app installation starting with the direct install option. First, you go to Management and select the device on which you want to install the apps. It doesn't have to be a device. You can select a user, group, or a whole domain here. Now, we have the Install Application action both here in Manage and here in Actions. If you want to push apps to a single device or group, you can do it from Actions here, but if you want to push to multiple devices or groups, better head back. So, Install Application. Choose from the App Inventory. You can search the store as well. Any apps you select on the store will also be added to your inventory. Let's push both the Enterprise app and the store app we had added to our inventory. Now, let's see how you push the apps via policy. Mandatory apps. You can choose an existing policy or create a new one. iOS settings. App management. Mandatory apps. It's a good idea to keep this box here checked so that these apps get automatically uninstalled when this policy is removed from the device. Adding a catalog here will make that catalog available within the Hexnode MDM app on the iOS device. Okay, so the mandatory apps configured, but we're not quite done yet. We need to select the devices to target this policy. You can choose devices, users, groups, or whole domains. And save. These apps will be pushed to all the devices, ones selected directly or ones indirectly linked by users or groups. The great thing about the policy setup is that, as long as this policy remain assigned, Hexnode MDM will make sure the apps stay on the device as well. If an app is manually removed from the device, it'll be automatically pushed during the next scan. Now let's see what happens at the device end. The installation works the same way, irrespective of whether the apps have been pushed via Actions or via Policy. If the devices are supervised, app installation works without any user interaction. If unsupervised, then the user needs to tap a confirmation for the installation to happen. But if the app is a VPP app and assigned directly to the device, then no need of supervision. Apps will silent install either way. If you are yet to get started with VPP or do not have a clue about supervision, Check out our dedicated help videos. They're all linked in the description down below. Now, what about removing apps from devices? Oh, it's super easy. Just go to Management and select a device. Applications. Now, click on this trash icon and the app will be deleted from the device. Notice why some of the apps don't have a delete option? That's because they've been manually installed by the user and not pushed via MDM. So, what if you want to remove such an app? No problem. You can just convert that unmanaged app to managed in a single click. You're free to uninstall it now. Again, the device needs to be supervised for the apps to uninstall silently. Otherwise, it requires confirmation from the user. You don't always have to remove the apps one by one. 
there's a bulk uninstall option as well. Just choose the devices you want the app to be removed from or choose a device group containing all those devices. Manage Uninstall application Select the app and done. This will initiate an uninstall command from the portal just that the devices need to be online for the apps to get removed instantly. On offline devices, the apps will be removed the very next time they're online. Now that you've learned install and uninstall, let's move on to app updates. For enterprise apps, there are a couple of ways to do this. The easier one, You can edit the app and replace it with the new version IPA. The update will be rolled out to all the devices to which the app had been pushed earlier. For store apps, you have the option to turn on auto updates on the device. Check this out. Now, even if you fail to have them enabled on the device, no reason to worry. Hexnode MDM periodically checks the App Store for updates and pushes them out to devices automatically. You can also manually check for updates. If there's a new update available, it will be updated to your inventory and rolled out right away.